Hello, 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 everybody. Pastor McKenzie, come busy coming your way. <laughs> Progress on purpose. We're here again this afternoon and we are grateful. I hope your week is going on well. Everything is moving according to what you might have intended. But I know, I tell you what, this is the day which the Lord has made. And in it, we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. God is in it. God is in it. Uh, God is in it. Don't forget it. Whatever, wherever you are, whatever is going on in your life, God is in it. God is in it. I just want to encourage a few of my friends as you come on in. I see you coming in. I just want to encourage somebody. I've got a pick me up word for you today. I just want to encourage you with a word today on this progress on purpose where we are practical, relevant, and biblical. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, Pastor McKenzie, come busy, progress on purpose. Go and do likewise and like uh, some of the videos that are there. We are moving, and I just want to encourage you today. I have a word that I want to share with us. Um, looking at this text, uh, Luke chapter 1, verse 37. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. Very simple yet pregnant text. Um, for with God, for nothing is impossible with God. For nothing will be impossible with God. I want you to just understand, nothing will be impossible with God. Nothing is impossible with God. I see some preachers coming in. John, I see you. Thank you, sir, for tuning in. Just a quick word I want to give. Share with us four principles that will help us wherever you are, wherever you're going. Whenever you are with God, you are moving. You're on the move. You're going somewhere. When God is in your life, you're going somewhere. Not knowing where you're going, not knowing how you'll get there. Uh, that's what stresses us out. But I want you to understand he will begun this work in you and nothing will be impossible with God. So I want to share with you some four principles that I think are very critical. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, whatever is discouraging you, whatever is coming your way, whatever does not add up or look like it is what it's supposed to be. I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, I'm here to give you a word that nothing is impossible with God. And I'm going to give you four principles that are going to help you to progress on purpose. Here's one thing I've discovered. I discovered that when God is calling you somewhere, when God is taking you somewhere, listen to me on this one, the right place often seems like the wrong place. And the right time often seems like the wrong time. Ooh! When God is leading you and guiding you and taking you to a place, I want you to understand that God is taking you somewhere. It doesn't matter what's happening in your life right now. I see you, uh, Bishop, Bishop Parker. I see you, sir. I want you to understand when God is on the move with you, it is the right place often seems like the wrong place. And the right time often seems like the wrong time. That's why you should never give up when you are with God. You should never give up with God because when a place seems to be wrong, sometimes it is the right place. If Jacob was here, he would let you know, I was running away from my father. I was running away from my brother. I was running to my uncle Laban. And all I had to do was to pick up a rock and use it for a pillow. But I did not know that this place that seems to be the wrong place was the right rock on which angels were going to descend and angels were going to ascend and the vision of the night and the voice of God I was going to hear in a place that seems to be wrong at a time that seems to be wrong. So child of God, wherever you are, I want you to understand that when God is in your life, God is orchestrating things. Don't forget nothing is impossible with God. And whilst you are where you are, sometimes the right place uh, often seems to be like the wrong place. And the right time often seems like it is the wrong time. So what do I do? I've discovered when God is in your life, the greater the opportunity, uh, the more scary it becomes. So I want to challenge you wherever you are. God is in your life. God is in it. Whatever you're going through, whether it's death, whether it's marriage, whether it's birth, Whatever you are in right now, I want you to understand that God is in it. And I want you to understand one last thing that I think is very important. When God is in your life, that when things don't seem to move the way you want them to move and to happen the way you want them to, to happen, here's one principle I want to share with you. Get ready. Here it is. When things don't add up the way you want them to add up, it's easy to become disappointed. And I have a word for you, then I'm out of here. As you work with God, as you obey God's will for your life, you are going to be disappointed. But make up your mind that I may be disappointed, 
but never be discouraged. You may be disappointed, but never be discouraged because nothing is impossible with God. He is in it. God is in it. I'm about to make a t-shirt with those words in front and back. God is in it. Don't forget that God is in it. He's the one who began this good work in your life. You didn't create yourself. God is a purpose for your life. God is in it. It doesn't matter what it is. It, you, you, it doesn't matter how it looks like. It doesn't matter how it threatens your very own existence, my child, child of God. I want you to understand that God is in it and nothing is impossible with God. Oftentimes, the right, the right place seems to be the wrong place and the right time seems to be the wrong time. It's just in the perception and appearance. But I want you to understand that God is in it. God sees your tears. God hears your groanings. God sees your disappointments. But make up your mind that you will never be discouraged. And if you hold on and progress on purpose, I want you to understand that the greatest risks are the greatest opportunities. Where God is, the enemy is going to do what the enemy must do. But you and I know that he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. Never give up. Progress on purpose. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You are destined for greater blessings on you.